Okay, so welcome Nancy uh, to our second Cafecito del Mundo Unido. And, Thank uh, you, Boris. And uh, we have a, a very, a very specific topic for this uh, conversation because uh, Service Week is on its way and the co-curricular team is uh, working hard to make Service Week happen again this year. So this was, would be a wonderful opportunity to, uh, to talk about the co-curricular team and, and uh, this, this very special time of the year that is coming up. Uh, but first of all, who is the co-curricular team exactly? Thank you, Boris. Hey, everyone. Uh, well, my name is Nancy Solis. I am the co-curricular director here at the school. I have been working here for almost nine years, so I am very attached to this community. And together with me, I work with Valerie and Luis. Um, both of them are co-curricular facilitators that with my direction, we work to design and, and also deliver all the educational experiences uh, that has to um, be with uh, community service, creativity, and action. So everything that is related with arts, with interactions with the community, with sports, with um, any artistic expression that the students um, want to create um, of uh, in the co-curricular department, we support them to make sure that uh, we can um, incorporate that to the educational process that we offer here in UWC Costa Rica. So yeah, that's bas basically what we do in the department. Okay. Yeah. Thanks a lot. I mean, it's already in the name, isn't it? Co-curricular team that you, you work together a lot with, with the students, with staff, but also with the other departments, I think, you know, with uh, the, the residential exactly. and the academic teams. Could you could you share a bit about what your 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 bigger picture is with with your team and all the all the all the work that you do? Yeah, exactly. I think that the beauty of the school is that uh, we give the same um, energy to the three core components of the educational experience here. It's about academics, it's about residential life because we are a boarding school, but the co curricular program is uh, together with the other two areas a core component for students to make sure that they develop a specific skills. And at the end, they are like trained human beings to deliver social positive impact here the school in the, the in the immediate community but also beyond the two years of experience uh, that we offer them here at UWC Costa Rica so yeah wonderful wonderful and then there's service week coming up so um, I'm sure there's lots underway there's lots of projects being planned um, could you could you yeah give us a, a bit of a flavor of what's what's ahead Yes, Service Week is coming in a month, actually. Yeah, one month, one month exactly from today. Um, and yes, I mean, Service Week is always a challenge, but a, a beautiful challenge because it implies a tremendous logistic to make sure that all the students and the staff members have the opportunity to experience um, what is community service. This year, because of the pandemic, yes, we are having service week, but adapting it to a completely different format to make sure that we minimize the risk uh, to get any COVID-19 yeah. infection, because yeah. uh, I know that all of you understand that safety is first. Yeah. So we have adapted this the community service week into five main options to make sure that students have still the opportunity to interact with communities, mm -hmm to do community service, but also I think it's a good opportunity to rethink what community service means and to make sure that students create projects from empathy and collaborative work. So yeah, we're very excited. It's a lot of work, but we're very excited about it. Excellent, yeah. excellent. So um, perhaps not too many overnight uh, stays, but still lots of work in, in, the, in the areas of language with, uh, with the community and uh, um, also with maintenance and general services, uh, the students will work. Um, and with a sustainability lead project team, I think is also uh, eco farming, uh, La Esquina. So there's lots of work uh, underway, right? Is there perhaps one, exactly. one, one particular project that you want to highlight and say, well, this is something that we've really, you know, made, made some, some real progress with and looking forward to that? Yeah, I think that all, all of the initiatives that we have been developing 
are very excite, excited, but I really want to highlight one with an organization that it's called Enraizas, which is an organization from um, uh, families that are farmers here in Costa Rica in the, in the um, uh, local Alajuela town. Mm -hmm. So the idea is that the students can develop the digital content for their websites and social media platforms because they don't have the resources right now to do so. So the idea is that students can do field trips and grab content and uh, um, create the platforms for these families to be able to expand the services that they're offering. So it's a great example on how the students can put into practice their skills to deliver positive social impact. So I'm, I'm very excited for that project sounds in particular. Great. Yeah. Sounds great. And uh, it sounds really good that the, and reassuring that the work that you're doing with your team for with the students and the teachers is, is genuinely integrating all our efforts in, in the different areas of the school. So, uh, and for, as you say, uh, a more sustainable and, and, uh, and, and peaceful, fair, Costa Rica or uh, world in the end. So thank you very much, Nancy, exactly. for, for this talk and uh, um, all the best with your efforts. Thank you so much, Boris. It's a pleasure.